morning. Gotta get the babies up. Oh, there's one little one getting dressed. Good morning, Noble. Good morning. You ready to get up? Oh, look at that face. Oh, stretch. Oh. Hi, honey. Where's Shep? Shepster. Mr. John Deere. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Hi. Guess what mama just drove? I drove the tractor. Mm. <laughs> Do you want to drive the tractor today with daddy? Mm. Yeah, we gotta get some breakfast first though, right? Tractor. You wanna go sit on it? Okay, we'll put your shoes on. We brush your teeth. Open your mouth. Look at me. Show me your teeth. Are they clean? Come here, big smile. Oh yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Look at those teeth. You don't have any teeth. What happened to your teeth? Mama, what what was Oh, those teeth look pretty good too. Any sugar bugs? I can't wear, I, I can't find my, 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 my new shoes. shoes. They're all missing. Your shoes are missing too? Your new they're, shoes? They're, they're in the car. Okay, we'll get them if they're in the car. I'll carry you out, okay? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Try to get that plate off the puck over here. Come here, I'll show you. See this plate right here? Pull that pin out. You can get that plate off, okay? There's a latch on okay. the side. You have to pull this, this right here. Pull this out like that. Okay, now you pull the pin. Pull that pin straight out. That pin needs to come out. There you go. There you go. You did it. Put the pin back, okay? Put it back on the plate, and we'll put it in the back of the van. Put it back through the holes. the drive through at the bank at all or you have to get out to the bank. get money out to pay this guy oh yeah <laughs> let's pull the parking lot it's a tight parking lot yeah we'll get it all right so we need at least three to buy today oh we don't we didn't bring was a t-shirt Okay, so we'll be okay. Um, the trailer's only 14 feet that we have today, so we're gonna have to try and make it work um, with that. So, so, yeah, we were out last night pretty late. We didn't get home from buying the tractor until 10 o'clock, so the kids got to bed. Well, we got home around 9, and then the kids obviously were up and they were excited, so we. Go to bed until late. And then I set my alarm for five, but I laid in bed for like an hour. <laughs> now we're up and rolling. All right.
imagine it would be because he's cut big logs. out of our league with this. That's why we're filming it. Maybe someone will watch it. <laughs> Couple parents, ruins in time. Like, have you guys, have you watched any videos on this? Do you know what you're doing? I'm like, there's no videos. That's why we're going to videotape it. That way, if they, someone finds it, they'll know what not to do. That's what it was, but it's fine though. Um, Cause he cut them for us too, which is great because our chainsaw right now is dull. So that was fantastic. And it was great because he had the forklifts on the Kubota, which is great too for loading everything. It's all really, really nice. We'll probably be coming back to him in the near future if he still has logs so we can uh, finish the other side of our house. So we're gonna drive home from Maryland, drop off the logs, and they're probably gonna run to uh, like Lowe's and we're gonna pick up um, a sprayer. So we can, like a, like a handheld sprayer. So we can um, <clears throat> fill it full of the borate. I don't know if it's actually called borate. We keep calling it that. I should probably check and see what the... Shell guard. Shell guard. We should probably start calling it shell guard. It's not borate. So we're gonna use shell guard as the insect insecticide we're waiting for the logs to dry and then once they're dry we will apply that we want to we want to get ready so we're ready to roll on that um, because that's going to take about two weeks for that to really soak into the logs before we can do anything else um, is there anything else that we're going to try to do today uh, we're going to get a pump jack a bottle jack get a bottle jack jack or house up sell those at lowe's lowe's do we need one or two get one. Okay. So our plan is, and I might have mentioned this before, um, the some of the logs are so rotted that if we were to putty them and fill them with the products from Permachink, it would cost hundreds if not close to a couple thousand dollars or more just to try and re repair these logs that are damaged. It would be cheaper and more labor intensive to replace the logs, but it seems like that's the direction that we're gonna have to go. Um, it's a little scary because this is totally out of our league. <laughs> what do you think on that one? <laughs> not our league. It's not out of our league? No. You got this? You got it. I love your confidence. <laughs> it's good, we need it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so to replace the logs, 
that is going to require us to use a to use a bottle jack. We'll have to cut above the chinking above, and if you don't know what the chinking is by any of our videos yet, it's the mortar in between. There's um, a metal lath against it, and then there's a mortar in between the logs. And he'll have to use a, a grinder. Is that what you said? A metal? I'm, I'm gonna use a grinder. He's gonna use a grinder. You can use a hammer and then beat out the mortar and then snip it out. Metal snips, but the grinder's gonna be faster. Okay. So we're gonna use a grinder and we're gonna cut out the chinking, which is literally the wall space in between our logs. So we're gonna be completely opening our house up. And then we will use the bottle jack to jack up the logs. He will have to cut out the metal spike, right? Because there's metal spikes. Cut out the metal spike that is holding the old rotten log into place. And then we will remove the old log. And you'll have to, what, probably measure the cuts. Measure the cuts because what are those cuts called? They're just like saddle cuts or just like bevel. A beveled, beveled cuts. saddle cut? Yeah. The saddle cuts. Yeah. So, and then on the new logs, we'll have to cut um, a beveled saddle cut to replace the new log and then we'll insert the new log, drop the house down, <laughs> and then reapply the metal lab, reapply the chinking. We're not gonna go with the permachink. We decided not to go with the permachink just because when we were pulling the, the T111 off the house, it actually was in really good shape. We were super surprised. We honestly thought we were gonna have to replace the whole thing. And honestly, that's a huge blessing because it is a difference of $400 to buy chink paint versus like $4,000 to redo chink. Maybe more, we don't even know yet. So we're gonna stick with the same metal lab and the same um, mortar that we have now. And then what we will do is we will stain the house and then we will paint the chinking in between to give it that fresh look because right now it's very stained and dated looking. I think when it's all said and done, it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. As long as we don't accidentally knock the house over. <laughs> and then we'll be selling logs. <laughs> so, stay tuned for the next video.